Hey there, Silver Tongue Devil here, and it is time to start getting you those achievements with ease and a little bit of cheese. So you finally managed to stick it to Gabriel. Congratulations. Your reward? Holy light. Spoilers. It's rubbish. Regardless of that, we still need to get it fully upgraded. Remember, you will need to be in a new run after defeating Gabriel to add Holy Light to the world. So a quick bit of housekeeping on Holy Light. There is a bug out there that's causing it to do a lot more damage than it should. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to recreate it, which is why I think it's a bug. It always seems to happen when you pick Holy Light up in cycle one. The one thing that I do know for sure is that it always reverts back to the standard damage that Holy Light should do at the end of your current cycle. So with that out of the way, let's get back to the reason why we're here. We want to get enlightened ticked off. 266 enemies isn't a lot. However, Holy Light doesn't stick around very long and enemies are not going to oblige us by just standing around in it. Sounds to me like this could do with some cheese on top. Get them bags packed, we're heading to the Abyss. Either get there through normal travel or you can use the portal if you've got it unlocked. So first things first, we need to acquire Holy Light. I'd suggest teleporting all the way to the shop, rooftop hop until you're there. Once it's in, we'll obviously need to acquire enough gold to pick it up. So it's back off into the level, get that gold, kill those orphans, leave the summoners alone for now, we're going to need them. The pits in Abyss are definitely easier than elsewhere so you should be pretty confident in doing them. Pit of Agony is the best of the two for extra arrows, hopefully you'll get what you need here but otherwise it's a good source of gold for the shop. Once you've acquired Holy Light by whatever means you can, it's time for the cheesy part. Now we're after the summoner that's coming up in this clip find his location, clear out the enemies all around, head down here, jump onto the wall. Up here is far enough away from the summoner to not take damage, and close enough to spawn abominations that will not get aggressive towards us. They'll just stand around. It's worth noting that at higher cycles, the summoners have a higher spawn cap. If that's the way you want to play it, you do you. We're looking at cycle 1, where the spawn cap is 4. Now what you'll see me doing is as abominations are summoned if they are not tight and part of a pack i will cull the herd so to speak and wait until they're all close together when you have a reasonably tight group drop your holy light take out the abominations leave the summoner alone do note that if the enemy's health bar has turned blue they are under the effects of holy light and will count towards the kills adjust your holy light shots accordingly rinse and repeat until the achievement pops in this next clip we're at a slightly higher cycle and I'll show you how we can get to a slightly higher elevation. You can shoot a teleport arrow up here, you are then looking down on the enemies which can make things a lot easier. Again, cull the herd, drop your holy light, rinse and repeat. Another one that you can be working towards here is the Harbringer achievements. Simply try and land as many headshots as you can. The five Harbringer achievements are for getting so many headshots in a single run. If you wanted to, you could stay up here and get all 666. Do as you please. But remember that the Harbringer achievements are particularly good because anything that increases base headshot damage is well worth taking the time to get. 